we back. Now look, something tells me that you probably hungry today. Mm -hmm. Now when it comes to days like this, I like to have a nice meal, particularly a nice breakfast, my favorite type of meal after all. Now this is a recipe that I made for my mom's on one nice Sunday Easter morning, but just like a giant bunny hiding colorful eggs in people's front yards ain't got nothing to do with black Jesus rising from the grave, this video ain't got nothing to do with Easter. Either way, I don't see why I shouldn't share the recipe with the people. That's you, y'all are the people. That's right, y'all know what time it is. Get your ass in the kitchen. Today, we making my double down French toast breakfast. All right, first things first, need to know what type of bread you're using. Right here, I'm using brioche bread. It's got like that firm, soft thing going on, and it's cut thick. You'll see why that's important in a minute. Next, we need to make some of this. What is this? This is the most eclectic French toast batter you've ever seen in your life is what this is, at least until I update the recipe to Horn Flex Flex. Now the crafting materials for this decadent concoction consists of the following. Three whole eggs, some cinnamon, some brown sugar, little bit of nutmeg, little bit of vanilla extract, tiny pinch of salt, some honey, some buttermilk, and some heavy cream cause I'm so sophisticated. You want to mix this all together and then blam, you got your batter. Now take your bread and dip it into the batter, and this is how you want to do it. You want your bread to Mario, not Sonic. For the non-geeks and gamers that ain't got no idea what the f*** I'm talking about, Mario swims, Sonic sinks. And that's how you want it to be with your bread. You want it to swim on the surface, not submerge it into the batter, because then you're just going to saturate it and it's going to be all mushy. Let the bread swim on the surface of the batter on both sides for like 15 seconds each. That'll allow the flavor to just meet in the middle. And we're going to take this batter French toast, and we're going to pop it in the oven that's been set to 350. Let it sit for about 7 to 10 minutes, take it out, flip it, then let it do another 7 to 10. After that, take it out, sit it aside, let it cool off. And in the meantime, let's get the rest of the breakfast ready. Now what breakfast can really call itself a breakfast without an essential side? Bacon! Bam! I, I, I apologize if you're a vegan, not really. Look, th th this is Applewood smoked bacon, all right? Y you know I had to cop, and it's fresh from the market. I, I, I ain't eating breakfast without this, bruh. Sorry. As you can see, I've only put two slices in this skillet as to control myself. If there was five or seven pieces in this skillet, I'd devour them all. I love bacon, all right? Anyway, while the bacon is sizzling, we're gonna step over here real quick. And what I'm doing right here is what you would call seasoning the skillet. You take a paper towel and you put a light coat of butter flavor shortening in the skillet. Now this is where the double down part of the recipe comes in. We're gonna take our cooled off French toast and we're gonna re-dip them. Remember, Mario, not Sonic. Then drop it into the skillet and cook it to your desired texture. And don't forget to tender that bacon. Now you smell that? You smell that good food in the air? Smells just like the diner, don't it? Only better. And this time the diner's in the comfort of your own home, and you ain't gotta deal with the 80s music. You know what I'm talking about. Diners is always playing 80s music, especially on days like this, when you go there at like 4 a.m. in the morning, and the speakers be all like, We can dance if we want to. We can leave your friends behind. Cause our friends don't dance, and if they don't dance, we'll have no friends of mine. Alright, now for the final and probably most essential side to any breakfast, poultry. Now you ain't gotta do this, but I like to add a little spinach in my eggs. I don't know why, don't ask. Now when it comes to seasoning eggs, it's actually real simple. All you need is salt and pepper. That's it. I know, right? Crazy. Turns out with eggs, less is actually more, and that's kind of surprising, especially coming from me. I am normally a strong opponent against the blasphemous rhetoric that when it comes to seasoning, that salt and pepper is all you need, man. Shut your ass up. But in this case, it works, so I shall allow it. Now all you got to do is grab a plate and then BAM! Homemade French toast breakfast, my G. Now I know this is breakfast food, but you can eat this meal anytime, especially on days like this. And before you grub down, I'd like to thank you for tuning in. Show the video some love. Let me know what you think. Try it out. Show it to your people. And be sure to check out the rest of the channel. There's some videos on there you might find entertaining, as well as some other videos that'll help satisfy the munchies. Now don't forget to come back to the kitchen so we can cook something else. Till then, stay up. We can dance if we want to. We can leave your friends behind. Cause our friends don't dance, and if they don't dance, we'll have no friends of mine. Say.